everyone welcome back to my channel it's the oni with thrifty divas and we're here with a long overdue as usual dollar tree haul we will not be breaking down into category today we're just gonna pull and grab for time's sake and i'm gonna show you some of the things i found also stay tuned at the end of this video i'm gonna put in some bonus extra walkthrough footage of things that i did not purchase but i thought were worth the mention so without further ado let's jump right in so the first thing I'm going to show you is a repurchase, but I got two more packs of these wood ornaments. They come in three packs and they have the string if you want to hang them since they're ornaments. Uh, but I just dug around for more packs that I thought had the biggest ones because they are kind of very differentiating in size. But if you saw the last video, I got these to use as coasters at the lake house. And I just wanted more big ones. Then to go along with that, they had this basket. They had like newer baskets to me that just looked more kind of rustic. So it's a nice oval firm basket. And like I said, it does look very rustic to me. So I'm hoping that this can act as a really cute coaster holder. So let's see how that works. All right, so I do have, I bought like two or three other packs in my previous haul. So it'll be more full and then, I mean, probably more full. And I'm gonna pull out what I think might be too small. I'm not sure, but that's what it ends up looking like. And I think it's, I think it's kind of cute. I think it works, especially for a lake house. So yeah, haven't even shown my mom yet. Told her, but haven't shown her. So I think that's really cute. Then I got several each of these, but I'm, I only brought out one each because there's no point. But I got three of these. The I'm sure you've seen it by now. The Cher 60s Couture Body Mist. Made in the USA. Distributed by Scent Beauty Inc. New York. Scentbeauty.com. Um, it's very uh, heavy and musky, but it's kind of nice. I don't think I'd ever wear it in the summer because it's just too heavy. Uh, I got three because I thought I was going to give my mom one. And then I had her smell it and she's like, no, I don't like it. And then she goes, ooh, heavy. Is that men's? I'm like, no. Cher Decades 60s Couture features notes of bergamot, rose, damascena, amber, and patchouli. So, you know, right there it's heavy. But yeah, I got three of those. Then I got a couple of these. Personal Care compared to Sun Bum revitalizing appearance three in one leave in hair conditioner for all hair types and it's four fluid ounces zero phthalates parabens sulfates and dyes and it's uv protecting made in turkey by delta brands then i got a few more of these one and only argan oil products last time i got the split end mender i think it was called then I got uh, three or four, because I got for my mom also, these restorative masks, restorative hair masks. Reconstruction, reconstructs and repairs, hydrates and moisturizes, texturizes and shines. These are three ounce and a little squeezy tube. And then I got three or four of these. This is one and only coconut with argan oil. This is coconut oil treatment. Instant shine, smoothness, frizz control, brilliance, suppleness. Yeah. And that is also three ounces. And that is the same pump as the split end mender. Next, I grabbed one of these to try, not for my yoga mat, but, um, and they had like three or four different scents. I do believe I have that in the bonus footage at the end. Uh, it's eight fluid ounces, sure sense yoga mat freshener i picked aqua in and it says clean and relaxing so it says spray the entire surface of the mat use a clean cloth to wipe the mat dry before rolling or using uh for a deeper clean spray generously until the mat's visibly wet let sit one or two minutes use a clean cloth to gently scrub any areas that have dirt or stains and then dry your mat so it says it uses naturally derived ingredients and it's formulated to keep your yoga mat smelling fresh and free from surface dirt and stains. So I thought uh, maybe you could use this on other things. I don't know. I don't know, but I got one. 
Then this is a repurchase. I just grabbed another one of these four packs of jelly bombs. My son absolutely loves these and I like to surprise him as the sweet treat in his lunches. They're best before October 25th of 25 and they have seven total sugars in one. So it's not terrible, terrible. Oh, and here you go, just so you know. It says, caution, must be chewed thoroughly before swallowing. Not recommended for children under five years old. Just so you know. But he loves them, and he's over five. I got an Elmer's Craft Bond uh, dot runner, permanent dot runner, for his uh, science fair project display board that we're working on. I got these. I also got my mom a pink pair. Uh, they brought these back the juncture slides i mean they're good for a little while if you wear if you wear them way too much you will begin to feel the ground right in this area <laughs> they thin out a lot at least they do for my mom and myself so probably for a lot of people but i got a pink and a gray i might have filmed it i don't remember i know they had like a navy also possibly a khaki but i may be making that up then they had these Shantae Scents Solid Air Freshener Gels. I picked Celia. I have no idea what they all smell like because they're sealed, but it was pink. So I'm like, that's a good one. I got one of these giant cans of Bush's Best Zero Sugar Added Baked Beans. I wanted to get more, but if you know, I don't have a kitchen right now if you're watching that. And the Best Buy date is only May of 2024. So one it had to be couldn't get more. Then I love me an Oreo cakester. And then I saw these. So I had to get them to try. I got two packs so that my husband and my son don't get jealous and we can all share. These are Oreo cakesters, peanut butter flavor cream. That's probably amazing. I love funny bones too. So that's it's probably reminiscent of that. I saw this by Extra Care. It is a big old five ounce can of smooth glide shave gel for sensitive skin, aloe enriched. And it says compare to edge shave gel, which is what my husband uses. So I got this for him to have as a uh, backup, an emergency when he runs out. I always throw one in there for him. And then he's pleasantly surprised when he runs out. I got this hand soap by Delta Home. This is rosemary mint. And I gotta tell you, it smells neither like rosemary nor mint. It smells very nice, slightly musky, very nice. I grabbed two cheap umbrellas. They have black and blue, I picked black. Uh, I figured, let me just bring these to the lake house so that we have umbrellas there. Because I'm the one who thinks of all these ridiculous little details, but they're very important. Like say we're there for a weekend or something and it's raining and we wanna grill. Umbrellas. I got this to add to my friend's son's birthday package because for Christmas on his Amazon wish list, he had the Barbie car and I got it for him. Well, Dollar Tree had Barbie the movie, the uh, 1956 Corvette, but it is Ken's car and the license plate says Ken I, right there. Uh, and his Barbie car from Amazon was like, eight dollars or something so this is amazing but now you can have both i got three of these downy rinse and refresh three times odor power breaks down residues rinses away odors and freshens fabrics cool cotton fabric rinse and it is four ounces um if i ever forget laundry in the washer I'm very sensitive to that like dank wet laundry smell. Um, so I usually use white vinegar, but I was like, let me give this a try. Like I'll use white vinegar to rewash it, but I figured, hey, let me give this a try. Then I also got two of these to see how well they work. The Home Bright Wrinkle Away Spray in Linen Scent, and it is six fluid ounces. Well, The cat might be out of the bag. It's not a cat though. Uh, so now's a good time as any. A lot of you are aware that my true love, Hennessy, suddenly and tragically passed away May 5th. Uh, so it's been over 10 months. Uh, she had a mass removal surgery on her leg and was healing great. 
She was getting better every single day. Uh, I was sleeping down here on the couch with her. And I was like, any day now, we're going to be able to go sleep back upstairs. Like, she was doing absolutely amazingly. And then uh, I'm going to start crying. Oh, my God. Okay. Then um, it was like, it started at like 9 o'clock on uh, May 4th. Um, she threw up, which if you have a dog is not that you know and then she was kind of acting like she had a tummy ache or something sorry and she was um <laughs> moaning a little and then she later on that night she looked she was very disoriented i took her out to pee and then we came in and she like tried going down the basement stairs we're like no 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 you know because she's still at like Still had stitches in her arm. <sighs> and then I started getting worried that she had like bloat or something. And I was gonna like, you know, that it would kill her. So I was gonna take her to the emergency vet. I woke Brett up because I was up with her and it was like nearing one in the morning, which is how it became May 5th. And, um, I called my mom to tell her that I think I'm going to take her to the emergency vet. I'm sorry, guys. Jeez. And as I was on the phone with her, Brett said, come here, come here. And I dropped the phone and I ran and she was dying. We watched her die. <laughs> and then I called her vet and the surgeon. And he's supposed to be like one of the top surgeons on Long Island too. And they both said, they both said that it sounds like she got a blood clot from the surgery. And it went to either her heart or her lungs and killed her. It was exactly a week after the surgery. So... She was amazing. She was so healthy. So healthy. The vets were amazed at her age. Her blood work was perfect. She had to get blood work before the surgery. She was absolutely so healthy and perfect. And it was very, very unexpected and traumatizing. <laughs> then she's buried here. And there you go. She has a beautiful tombstone. <laughs> That was my girl. I had her before I met Brett. Uh, she was like two and a half when I met Brett. So obviously she was way before my son and everything. And she was the best dog ever. And uh, we got, um, so my son and my husband have kind of been, uh, pestering me to go adopt another dog and uh it was I I was I was very torn and you know it feels like Hennessy died yesterday but I feel like it'll always feel like yesterday <sighs> and uh anyway we got another we got a puppy <laughs> I need a little break. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. She had to go out anyway. So, I was like torn about it. And I swear to you, I... It's like I heard her voice, but obviously dogs don't talk, right? But... I got like a message from Hennessy one night when I was laying in bed and she said, it sounds ridiculous, but she said, mommy, you love dogs more than any person I've ever seen. 
go be happy again. I swear. That was the message I got. Brad's home now, so I don't want to start crying because he, he's going to make a big deal. But let me show you. She is... Uh, <laughs> She's the worst puppy I've ever seen in my life. She's horrible. She's absolutely horrible. Every time anybody asks me, like, oh, how's she doing? How's it? And I'm like, she's horrible. She's the worst. She is. She is. Henny was the best puppy I've ever seen in my life also. All right, come here. Let's introduce you. Okay. This is Darla. I named her Darla from the Little Rascals, which turns out to be, the rascal part turns out to be perfect. Um, she was born December 19th. She was found with uh, 23 other puppies on a farm in Missouri. No, Mississippi. And um, she was, they were all, I think, taken by the uh, Stone County, Mississippi ASPCA. And then they went to a foster place. It's called Foster Loves, um, a rescue in, uh, I believe, Louisiana. I'm not sure. I really don't even know my story right. And uh, yeah, so we couldn't even meet her, um, but I saw pictures of her online. And then uh, the only thing we could do was we FaceTimed with her for about an hour, uh, the whole family. And uh, then they were actually, they had a transport scheduled for two days later, two or three days later. So Brett and I drove to New Jersey, which was one of the stops in the transport, and we picked her up. And we got her exactly a week ago today. And, um, you know, since I work from home, I'm the one doing most of the, let's be honest, all of the training and stuff. Um, I'm also the only one with any knowledge about it. So I have to train her and then train the family. And it's been very difficult. Brett's never had a puppy before. Um, but yeah, so that's that. We don't know what she is. Um, I finally just ordered a DNA test today. I can't wait till it comes. And then I think it takes about two weeks, but I cannot wait to find out. Um, so she's allegedly uh, right under three months. She's very small. Uh, she's very mouthy. They said, and you see she's getting this dark here and, and the dark hair is like coarser than the rest of the hair. They had thrown some things around. She's got like dark here too on the sides. They threw some things around like um, Australian Shepherd, which I looked up puppies of, and they're like fluffy from birth, so I don't know. And uh, Catahoula, Louisiana Catahoula Leopard Dog. So we'll see, but there was a very uh, Australian Shepherd looking puppy that was with her and they were born on the same day. And um, she was like double her size. So I don't know, she, this, she's like a little tiny, I don't know. But anyway, we'll find out when we get uh, the DNA results. I can't wait to see, I'm very curious. Um, people ask me what she is and I'm like, I have no idea, but yeah, she's got dark, um, here too. If you can, she won't let me, but yeah, well, like on the sides, this side's actually darker, but she won't turn that way. Can you see? Yeah. See? And then she's got a white, um, neck and chest. And yeah, this is Darla. So. I wanted to introduce you since she was uh, already crying in her cage and stuff. So crate training her, potty training, you know, at the same time. Please stop eating my hair. She's the worst with the, with the mouth stuff. But yeah, patience. Cover her ears. She's no henny, you know, but... 
she's another rescue that we can give love to. Hopefully she loves us back and gets it together because her behavior is horrible. <laughs> I also, look at this, look at this. I also ordered a nail Dremel because her nails are ridiculous. But all right, let me go uh, put her back. Okay, I'm back. She had to poop. When I saw how she was trying to get away like that, it wasn't normal. So I took her back down and she pooped. So good. Well, that took a, an unexpected turn. I'm sorry for the video guys, but all right. I feel like there was a lot of stuff I hadn't told you really. So now I have, let's get back down to business. I got two of these Comet foam bath cleaners with bleach. We love a good foaming bleach around here. So I wanna see if that's any good. Um, so if you watch me, you know, I got one of these for my son to chop up things and cook with me. I have one here. I got one for the lake house so that we can all cook together with my parents and stuff too. And then one of you in the comments said, you need one for Greece. And I said, by golly, you're right. So this one is for Greece. So now he can cook everywhere. I saw these, could not resist. Can't wait till I have a kitchen back. So close. These Betty Crocker Reese's Pieces cookie cups with peanut butter fudge. They sound amazing. And the best by date is the 4th of July. So perfect, perfect. One box makes 12 cookie cups. So I got two boxes. Then I got two of these, to be perfectly honest. It's because it's pink, <laughs> but it looks good. It is a Solutions All-Purpose Cleaner Pink Formula. So I think it's supposed to be like the pink stuff spray dupe, I think. Uh, it is vegan, streak-free and sparkling clean. Uh, formulated to be tough on grease and grime, pink formula penetrates deep and leaves a clean, shiny result. I'm looking for, it says do not use on varnished surfaces, but that's about it. It doesn't really say anything about the other surfaces. So I got two of those. They're nice and big, 32 fluid ounces. Distributed by a Mary Plus Clearwater, Florida. Then I got these. Um, I actually have one more thing. I have, well, a big thing. I have to show you, um, I'm kind of hiding it right now, but I'll bring it all out and show you everything. I'm making my son a St. Patrick's Day basket. I always host St. Patrick's Day dinner, and it's also very emotional because I used to celebrate Hennessy's birthday on that day as well because we didn't know her exact birthday, but it was somewhere before... I remember the vet telling me it's somewhere before the Ides of March, um, which was yesterday. Um, but since we always got together for St. Patrick's Day, I just started celebrating it on St. Patrick's Day. But anyway, um, I was hoping that that would be the first meal back in my kitchen, but it's not. So now I have to maybe aim for Easter. Maybe I can do Easter for the family this year. But anyway, all right. But I have a whole bunch of stuff there for him. But I got these. This is Starburst Duos Zero Sugar. Two flavor, two flavors in one stick. This is strawberry watermelon. And then this one is Jolly Rancher in green apple. And then there's another one. I have to show you. And then I got these. So these are $1.50 now, but I don't know. I thought they were interesting. Let's see. I like them. I have nothing like this. I thought they were kind of cute. Right? They're fun. $1.50 is still a good deal. So I got them. Put these back on. <laughs> I got these for my mom's dog. And that's a whole other thing. Oh, gosh, guys. I'm going to need therapy after this video. Um, my mom's pit bull is almost 17 years old. And she's been struggling with putting him at peace. Uh, and she's doing the like, come to your home thing. And she's already made one appointment and canceled it. And then she has now made another appointment for this upcoming Wednesday at three o'clock. So I don't even, I don't even know anymore. Anyway. 
I had gotten these for him. This is Dream Bone, no rawhide, bake shop, made with real peanut butter, no artificial preservatives or flavors, added colors from natural, no colors from artificial sources. And these are made in Vietnam and they're Best Buy June, uh, which is probably why they're in Dollar Tree because I feel like these are more expensive. But yeah, they're donuts and there is four donuts in the bag. And then I got uh, these and then I saw somebody show there's one more and they didn't have it when I went, but I thought these were so pretty I couldn't resist. So I got this makeup brush and this makeup brush and there's one like this, but that's like a third of the size, a third to a half of the size. And it looks like a really good uh, eyeshadow option. So I want to find that, but I got these two by Sassy and Chic. Then I got two each of these. I gave uh, one each to my mom already for her cat. And um, then I, I'm sending this to a friend for her cat. I got both of these. Look at these. They're so cute. It's a four piece cat toy. This is all little hot sauce packets like Taco Bell. You have Fuego Verde Hot and Mild Sauce. And then it even has the, it has like the messages, like how the Taco Bell packets do. And then they had sushi with soy sauce, sushi and sashimi. Incredible. Love it. So yeah, that's going to my friend's cat. Oh, there's some stuffing. Random. It's not even, it's not even coming out of anything. It's just random and in there. Weird. So cute. Then also adding to my friend's son's birthday package with the car and several other things. I got him some socks. They These are by Crazy Universe. Angry Birds. This is men's 6 through 13. They all are. Capcom Street Fighter socks. So cool. And Smurfs. So those three will go in his package also. Then they had these. These were new. These are Surefresh oversized marinade bags. You only get two in there. They're zipper seal. Um, expandable bottom. And then... I looked and it says it's a three and a half gallon. It says it's 20 inches by 10. So I don't, it's a weird size, but I have the two and a half gallon ones and I use it for like eBay stuff. I put anything that would be not good to get wet that I ever resell. I put it in some type of bag in its packaging because you know how many things I've had ruined by them leaving packages out in the rain? So you never know. But I thought this might be good for some eBay stuff. It is a weird size, but it's interesting. So I got two boxes of those. But even for marinating, that's really cool. Then I got these. Uh, I actually wanted to ask my mom if she if she wanted this. I don't know. Nobody has a bunion that I know of, but it's still cool. There are these gel bunion cushions. Thin and flexible. They're by Care US. Relief from bunion discomfort. But it's going to be relief from any rubbing discomfort. But it's aiming specifically towards bunions on this picture. But I thought that was that was useful. And you get four gel cushions. I think if any part of your foot is like... I have bones that's... I have like a little bone that sticks out like halfway down my foot on the outside. On the outside. And I remember I went to a podiatrist once and I was like, oh, and I'm like, and I have this weird bone that sticks out. He goes, you got a lot of bones that stick out. So apparently I have all these bones sticking out. I don't know. Yeah, things like that. Oh, I, I can't remember why I got these. I think I got these for my stepfather. These peanut socks. And, and he's playing tennis. Yeah, I did get that for my stepfather. He's all into racket sports. I got this. So this looks familiar to you, right? But that was always like rosemary and sage or something. Now they have a different scent. It's lavender breeze. So I got the all-purpose cleaner. And it smells wonderful. Very lavendery. It smells like lavender fabuloso, in my opinion. 
but yeah, I thought that was uh, cool. I didn't really like the the other the sagey one or whatever. It was too no ro ro what did I just say? It was too much of whatever it said. And then these, goodness me, look at these, look at these, and these are best by December twelfth, twenty twenty five. Rosalini, Rosalini, hazelnut cream with milk and cocoa, seven ounces. And it just uh, looked incredible. So I grabbed two of those. I bought a little level to bring to the lake house. I can't remember why, but I do know that I was laying in my bed at three in the morning, like I always do. And I was thinking of hanging something. Don't ask me what at the lake house and I was like oh I should definitely make sure we have a level there so hopefully my brain catches up with itself but I got the level and then hopefully we'll remember what it was okay then I got a bunch of super cool toothbrushes and I have the other ones in the bonus footage at the end I got like three of these these firefly um, electric toothbrushes with antibacterial cover so it's a rotating head. She blasts, blast away plaque. And this is SpongeBob. So I got three of those for my son. And then I got two of these, I think. These are super cool also. This is Blue's Clues. And it's by Firefly again. And it's, um, it's manual, but it, it lights up. It has a one minute timer, which is like weird because that's not enough, but you do it twice, I guess. Yeah, I thought that was cool. So green is go, go, go. Yellow is brush, brush, brush. And then red is stop on the little traffic light thingy. At $1.25, that's insane. Especially this one. Insanity. Then... I got three pairs of these. These are by Layer 8. Is that what it's called? Yeah, Layer 8. Remember we were finding all the really good hats from them? So these are definitely more than $1.25. And I got these for me. They're all rubber. I thought that'd be great for the lake. And then... They had a 10 and a half in men's. Like, what are the chances? Because that's breadth size, 10 and a half. And they had it. 10 and a half. So I got these for Brett. And then I got my stepfather an 11. And I gave them to him already. Perfect for the lake. We're all going to be matching. The only one they didn't have for my was for my mom. I felt so bad. <laughs> she didn't care. I felt bad. But yeah, awesome, awesome deal. Then they have these new... Uh, solar spotlights this new design for this year so I thought those looked fancy I got four of those don't know for where yet but I have a little bit of a solar light obsession so I got a bunch more behind me too so hang on then I got these for me these Medipeds uh, they are they're kind of like diabetic socks I would say because they are non-binding top. Yeah, they don't call them diabetic socks, but they say non-binding. Non-binding top with extra stretch and comfort. So you don't get like those lines and stuff. They don't squeeze you. Oh, there it is. Never mind for symptoms of diabetes and related conditions. So they're non-binding cushion sole, smooth toe seam, and they're unisex, fits men 7 to 12, ladies 10 to 13. So my 10 is right there. Beautiful. Then I grabbed this because uh, I think it was like on my son's laptop, but he's been obsessed with checkers lately. Uh, he's never played checkers in his life, but he said, can we get checkers? Can we please? He's like obsessed with checkers. So I grabbed this. The three in one. You got backgammon, chess, and checkers. And I thought perfect for the lake house and yeah and it is a it's a it's a it's a thin cardboard board but at least it's like real it's not paper so then I got 10 of these don't know why maybe for the lake also I don't know they're gorgeous I couldn't resist look at this beautiful scroll work 
this is what like Brett and I have this ongoing joke all the time. We say it's like rich people's. We'll be like, oh, it's a rich. It looks like rich people's. Or whatever. This is what I would say. This looks like a rich person's solar light. <laughs> right? It's so fancy. I love them. So we got 10 to use wherever needed. I don't know. Then I got this to put in my mom's Easter basket. Uh, I got her the both kinds of the like diamond shaped ones that they had. What was it? Oh, it was for like, that was for Christmas. I put those in her stocking. But it's this, this red, red delight, zero added sugar. This is the one that claims it's like Weight Watchers friendly and whatnot. 130 calories per serving, three servings per container, uh, seven grams of fiber, four total sugars, 21 total carbs, seven sugar alcohols, two grams of protein. Best if used by April 1st. Oh, no. I didn't even see that. Oh, well. Anyway. And the address is in Switzerland. No. Yeah. It's the bar form this time. Then I got two of these pink lighters that were uh, up by the register uh, to just throw like in the kitchen drawer if we ever need, you know, whatever, candle. God forbid the pilot goes out or something on the stove. I don't know. But yeah, pink is beautiful. I had to get them. Then I finally found these again. I showed these in a walkthrough forever ago. And I just thought they were like picture frames or something. Or I don't know what I... And then you guys told me in the comments, the only those are chalkboards. I said, what? Because I never turned it around to look. So yes. And then it took me ages and many, many stores to find them. So I found them at a store that just had a couple left. I didn't even have a choice in shape anymore, but I grabbed one. It has a little kickstand. I thought that would be really cute to, I don't know. I don't know what yet, but I just wanted one. So yes. And then I got these. So fun. 12 count of everyday heart shaped straws. So, you know, I had to get two packs and they are hard plastic, so they're washable. I love them. Perfect for the new kitchen. I got a bag of this gravel. I have to repot some succulents. I have a black thumb. I don't know if I've told you guys, but um, I got these little pots and they don't have drainage holes. And I can't, I'm not skilled enough to drill into ceramic. So I was thinking Maybe I could just put some gravel for drainage or something. I mean, they're tiny pots anyway, but we'll see. If they die, they die. But I am definitely going to give it the old college try. Then I got this. This is a product of Argentina. Della Natura Balsamic Olivetti. Olivetti. Don't, I'm not. Why am I doing that? It's balsamic vinegar. 17 fluid ounces. Plastic bottle but I thought it would be nice to have a fresh one. And then the last thing out here, and then I'm going to go secretly grab my son's St. Patrick's Day basket to show you. All right. If you've watched me for a while, if you've watched me in the past, I always get these, um, kitty litter, <laughs> kitty litter pans, these litter boxes, um, for storage or just like bins, right? There were always this unsightly, in my opinion, ugly beige, but to my surprise, they have gray ones now. And I'm like, that looks so much better. So I got three of them. Yes. These are so good for like everything, guys. Everything. I love them. I swear by them. All right. I'm going to go grab the St. Patrick's Day stuff. Keep my voice down. Uh, but before I do that, if you have not yet hit that subscribe button already, I would love if you would consider doing so, becoming a permanent part of the Thrifty Divas family. We would love to have you, and we tend to have a lot of fun here. If you could also give it a big thumbs up and leave a comment down below, even if it's an emoji or whatever, it really, really does help the channel grow. It helps YouTube recommend it and whatnot. And if you ever want to leave a monetary donation, there is a heart thanks uh, 
down where all the stuff is. Um, and it's kind of like a, uh, like a, like a super chat, but when you're not live, uh, never, ever, ever have to. Everything is free. The thumbs up is free. The subscription is free. The notification bell, so you don't miss any time I post new content, is all free. But if you ever feel like leaving a little monetary donation, that's what that heart is for. Just so you know, let me go grab the St. Patrick's Day stuff and I'll be right back. Okay, here we go. I got this hat, this little like derby hat, and I'm using it as the bucket. Uh, and then I just picked out everything green that I could. So I found this super cute pen. It's got a little, like, gummy bear on it. And, uh, and then it's got, like, a diamond bottom. I don't even know. And then I got another pen. They have this pen with a green pom-pom, and it's a, one of those ten-color pens. So why not? I got him the Kit Kat Duos, the mint one, because it's green, and he loves mint. I got him the green apple wallabies, because it's green. I'll stop saying that now. I got him a pinwheel. I got him the 10-pack of stampers for St. Patrick's Day. I got him this LED lights up bouncy ball. In green. I got him this. Because the box is green. But I feel like the other drink mix is the one that's going to be green. I feel. I don't know. What do I know? But this is watermelon. But the green apple one was in a purple box. I got him. Oh shit. Skis. He just walked by. I got him this green glitter bouncy ball. I got him this giant green slinky. I got him these Haribo all strawberry bears because they're all green. I got him this this uh, wild creatures Diplodocus? No. That's like a brontosaurus or something. Maybe. I don't know. He'll let me know, though. Because it's green. It's the only reason why I got it. And I think the very last thing in the basket... Good, he's not looking. Okay. Is this 35 glow-in-the-dark temporary tattoos. And we can save those for next year. When... I mean, some of, you know... When I actually uh, host St. Patrick's Day again. Yeah, so everything in here I got from Dollar Tree. I just uh, kind of walked around and looked for green things. So that's that, just for fun. All right, I guess that wraps it up, guys. I'm going to go, but you don't go anywhere because there is bonus walkthrough footage coming up because this video was not long enough to begin with, so let's go crazy, right? Hope you guys enjoyed. I'm sorry it took that emotional turn and all of that. I hope I didn't upset people. I don't. I want to make people happy, not depress them. Uh, but uh, unfortunately, that's my life. Like, I don't even know when that's going to happen. And sometimes I can talk about it. Sometimes I can't. And I never, I never know. And it's so anyway, I hope I didn't, didn't make anybody sad. Um, but all right, you stay, I go. All right. But I'll say bye now. Uh, thank you so much for hanging out with me. I really do hope you enjoyed overall. And I hope you saw some things that you would like to add to your wish list and keep a lookout for. And until the next one, guys, stay blessed, my friends. I love each and every one of you. Tons of great socks, especially for little girls. Six pack of gold toe, six pair of Dan Skin Now women's and a six pack of girls, no show. Gildan, different color options. Six pack of Jojo Siwa socks, little girls ones. I love the pom poms. No boys ones though, ever for me. And these three pair all pro cool max women's socks 
And the All Pro also has this three pack of the No Show liners. All Pro by Gold Toe. And this two pack of Star Wars The Mandalorian socks, men's. Those are awesome for any fan. In toys, there's this three pack of boomerangs in the Outdoor Fun brand. And then we have all of this wooden decor. Very neutral looking. There's a butterfly, a peace sign with some flowers, shooting star, rainbow. And here in Crafter Square, we have these 12 by 12 craft fur pieces. There's a baby blue, a lavender, and then down here, a pink. These wooden hanging signs, farm life, wakey, wakey, eggs and bakey. I love that one. This one says heifer, please. <laughs> I love that. With the cow. And this says home is where the herd is. These are new to me. These cute little baskets. This one's like confetti looking. They look like tiny little proofing baskets, these soft ones. And then they have some newer rustic looking ones in two different tones. Here are the decorative like stacking books. I only see two different sayings. They're wood. And then we have diamond paintings. They're a hair over six by six. And I see the tiger, sunflower with butterfly, hot air balloon, and a toucan. And we also have some little crochet animal kits. I have a dog, a bear, and a dinosaur. And I think that's all oh no wait i thought this was something else no that was it and here are these rainbow high electric toothbrushes they come in pink or blue yeah that's all i'm seeing pink and blue they have these new kids toothbrush kits with the case and then also they added in some floss picks Here's a Transformers one in Star Wars. And then down here, we have the Avengers. Here are the Blues Clues One Minute Timer Light Up toothbrushes. And they have pink and blue in those for you. We have these sassy and chic big nail clippers in pink, turquoise, lavender, and back here's a solid black. We have this Be Pure roll-on or tube floral lip glosses that have dried flowers in them. And some new sassy and chic makeup brushes, these huge two color makeup brushes that's all mine has are these big powder brushes and then we have these real technologies sponge it says tone and stimulate miracle skincare three steps to flawless complexion enhances skin's natural glow for more even makeup application And these Revlon lip tints, cushion lip tint. We have this very dark one, kind of an orangey one, a brown, and oh, there's a very bright pink here. It's not picking up, but it's actually very pink. And then there's these extra care hydrating or moisturizing uh, shave creams for women. And they're huge. They're 9.5 ounces. And here's the sweet shop display. They have really cute nails. I wish they'd make that for adults. And then we have the little ice cream or candy lip glosses. The two packs here. Nail polishes. Little palettes. And then the drinks. These are new novelty light projectors. We have spaceships or uh, unicorns and then little spring designs. These are little LED lights. 
adorable mushrooms. I know there's a lot of mushroom lovers out there. And even a light up rubber duck. Right up by the register, these are hanging, these like wall climbers, these Avengers. They're all the same. I only see Iron Man right here. We have the So Natural Coconut Water with Mango Juice or Passion Fruit Juice. And here are the nutritional labels for these. They're, they're identical, but if you want to pause and check that out. A lot of sugar, a lot of carbs. Just want to point out here, Celsius is 250, Gatorade Fast Twitch 275, regular Gatorade 225. I feel like a lot of these were $1.25. Now we have Dunkin' Ice Coffee, $3. Gold Peak Tea, $2. Starbucks, $3.75. And Pure Leaf Tea, $2.25. They have $5 Stanley dupes in a bunch of different colors. And here's a black one for you also. We have these Scents Essentials, little... Uh, essential oil air freshener packs this freeman indian turmeric gel cream mask and all of these really cute like dessert themed face masks this helios nail systems polished nails solid white is the only one my store has and lastly these easter pillowcases this gingham in blue or pink and they're a hair under 16 by 16.